So March of the Machines has been a crazy set. I've already loved a lot of the cards and I just keep getting mind blown with more and more cards coming out. However, they have released a new type of card and I, I guess we're just going to talk about it today. If you haven't seen, Magic the Gathering released a new type of card called Battle Siege and they are really, really good in my opinion. I know it's too early to kind of say because they haven't been played, but just reading what the abilities do and how they work is really good. So these are cards that are actually played sideways, but then flip horizontal. And that is a mechanic that I haven't seen before and find it really interesting how they are able to lay out the card. In the last set, these cards were hinted at with the new Atraxa. Atraxa Grand Unifier for three green, white, blue and black. You get a legendary creature, Phyrexian Angel, that is a mythic. She has Flying, Vigilance, Death, Dutch and Lifelink. When Atraxa Grand Unifier enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. For each card type, you may put a card type of that type from among the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order and she is a 7-7. And now that they're here, I thought I'll go over them and give my thoughts and opinions on them, even though not all of them are out. Because when it comes to March of the Machines, they are trying to take over 36 planes. So I think in this set, there is going to be 36. Now I could be wrong in that. I think the best way to describe how these cards work is just by going through one of them. So here is Invasion of Zendikar. For three and a green, you get a Battle Siege. That's an uncommon. As the siege enters the battlefield, choose an opponent to protect it. You and others can attack it. When it is defeated, exile it, then cast it transformed. When Invasion of Zendikar enters the battlefield, search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them on the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. It has three battle points. So when you play this card, it enters the battlefield and then you get to go to one of your opponents and go, hey you, protect this card or it's going to help me more. And that puts them in a situation that they need to then help kind of help you out or trying to stop you from getting bigger and better. And then when it comes to this card specifically, you then go and get two basic lands. And then the rest of it kind of works in like a planeswalker type of way because of the bottom right corner of the card is kind of like its health points. That if you attack with a bunch of creatures and you get it down to zero, it flips. Or you're able to use cards like shock. That are able to whittle it down as well. When it comes to March of the Machines, there is also cards specific to damaging battles. Once it has hit zero, rather from you attacking it or the other opponents you haven't chose from attacking it or using spells and instances to get it down, it flips and you get the other side. So far, it has been majority creatures. There has been a Tefri, so one does flip into a Planeswalker. But there's still more to see and they could probably be other instances, they could be other planeswalkers. We haven't got them all since the recording of this video, so I'm excited to see what they will be in the future. So on the other side of this card specifically, you get Awakened Skyclave. It's a creature elemental. It has Vigilance and Haste. As long as Awakened Skyclave is on the battlefield, it is a land in addition to its other types. Tap. Add one mana of any colour and it is a 4-4. I already think this is a really good card, mainly because when it is flipped, you get to attack with it straight away, and it also doesn't untap, but it's also a mana rock, so it's kind of like a stronger version of explosive vegetation. So this is the type of card where if you have, again, for example, explosive vegetation, I would be taking this out and put it in because it is the same mana cost, except for you're able to get a 4-4 creature that is also a mana rock and can attack then tap for more mana. This card is absolutely amazing. From other battle cards I've seen, I'm finding a very good theme with them that if your deck does something specific, there is a good chance there is going to be a battle card for it. And I find that a lot of decks now, especially commander decks, are going to have a lot of these. So if you have a deck that makes a lot of tokens, there is ones that make a load of tokens. If you need to sack stuff, there's stuff that stacks, uh, sack stuff, double damage, untapping. There is, seems to be a kind of all around whatever your deck does, there is a battle siege for it. And I think they are going to go across to be put it in. So you'll probably see a lot of cards going, for example, if you have explosive vegetation, I think that card's going to plummet. 
get rid of it all. This card does the exact same but better and I find that a lot of people are going to put it in because even if you don't put the battle down to zero, you still get the ability of explosive uh, vegetation. So it's the exact same. And if you do attack and get the creature, that's even better. It's also at that stage that the cards have not been released yet. So everything I say could potentially be wrong. This is just my point of view for playing Magic for so long and seeing these new cards, especially since they're new, a lot of people are gonna jump to them. And there's also a lot of cards that have been released that I'm really interested in and already am planning to put in at least six decks. It's also one of those things I would love to hear your opinions on battle cards and which one's your favorite in the comments down below. Also, while you're there, remember to like and follow me on all my social media. I make three big YouTube videos a week and I also do TikTok, some funny, some talking about Magic the Gathering and I hope you all enjoy them. And if you like this video, I have a double deck tech right here a playlist of magic the gathering here and also a really cute subscribe button that i think you should hit and i'll see you all in the next video